everybody. Welcome to this edition of NorCast Weather School. I'm your friendly neighborhood weatherman, Nor'easter Nick. If you remember, the last time we got together, we talked all about thunderstorms, and hopefully we made it a little bit less scary for you. In this episode, we're gonna go one step further and talk all about lightning. Now, I think to get the best understanding possible, we should kind of reel it back in for a second and recap how a thunderstorm develops because, well, after all, that is very important to what we're talking about here, right? Sunshine beats down on the ground through the course of the day. Since the ground can't retain that solar energy, it kind of spits it back up into the atmosphere. It cools and condenses, and through the process, you get clouds to develop. Now, this is going to happen multiple times over and over again and over a large area so you get plenty of clouds to develop eventually they're going to mature to the point where you get heavy clouds that give us rain in this maturing process you get water droplets and ice particles to collide at one another at high speeds it's this collision that creates positive and negative charges throughout the cloud the top of the cloud ultimately becomes positively charged along with the ground the bottom of the cloud is negatively charged. The energy from the negative charge meets the leader of the positive charge, and that could be cloud to cloud or even cloud to ground, which of course is extremely dangerous. Every now and then you'll get a very scary strike to come from the top of the anvil all the way to the ground, and these can be the most deadly strikes. Electrical currents can travel easily through water and metal. When a storm rolls through your area, stay away from any body of water, fences, and poles. Lightning will strike the tallest object in an open space. So for this reason, avoid being in open fields, on hills, or near trees. If you're at an outdoor sporting event, seek shelter immediately. Each lightning bolt can reach over 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. And that's also why it's important to remember when the thunder roars, go indoors. Lightning is obviously very dangerous. On average, there are about 51 lightning related fatalities in the United States each year. Some of the states with the greatest numbers are Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, just to name a handful. States like Alabama, Kentucky, and Illinois have fewer fatalities, but are still ranked 11 to 20. States along the northern tier of the country, like Montana, North Dakota, and Maine, see the fewest lighting-related fatalities yearly. Now it's time for some shocking facts that I bet you didn't know. On average, a single lightning bolt is about two to three miles in length and can carry over one million volts of electricity. That's a lot. And what about that heat lightning stuff we hear so much about in the summer season? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it isn't real. Wait, what? Yep, that's right, I said it. There is no such thing as heat lightning. It's an old wives' tale. If you've ever been outside on a clear night and saw flashes in the sky off in the distance, don't worry, silly, it's not aliens coming to try to get you. You're just seeing flashes of lightning from a storm far off in the distance. Since the clouds push way up into the atmosphere, you see the flash due to the curvature of the Earth. Now, you can't hear any thunder because light travels much faster than sound. And no, lightning just doesn't spontaneously generate from heat. Well, I'd say that information was enlightening. I cracked myself up. But seriously, thank you so much for being here today, and I hope you walk away with a better understanding of how lightning works. And remember, the next time a thunderstorm comes through your neck of the woods, take all the measures necessary to stay safe. Until next time, my friend, keep your eyes to the skies. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. And if you want to learn another lesson from NorCast Weather School, click this video. You can also follow me on all social media platforms. It's at Nor'easter Nick.